Ah, um, well, the student or er, a student can take the GMAT um, five times in a twelve month span. So um, it's not necessarily five months in a year. Um, it's five months in a twelve month span, and there has to be thirty one days between uh, each test that you take. So if I were to take a test now, on December 15th, um, then I would have to wait until January 15th to take the test again. Okay. And uh, is there a specific schedule for this exam that it happens on this day of, of, of a particular month? Mm, no. Um, it's administered almost every day of the year. They are constantly administering this test. That's one reason that the computer test is so nice, is that at any point in time they can um, administer it. So um, really students can take it year-round. Um, definitely want to check with your test center near you. Sometimes you do have a week where they won't be administering the test. And of course we always recommend that uh, you sign up for your test uh, very early. Um, so that you can get the time of day that you want and um, a day that you can actually go and take the test. Um, so usually we recommend at least signing up three months in advance, if not more. Okay. What is the test uh, duration like? Uh, so the test is fairly long. I think it ends up being around 220 minutes or so. Um, I usually tell students to plan on being at the test center for over four and a half hours with having to check in, um, begin the test and everything else. It does take a lot of time. Actual test time um, will be about four hours. Oh, that's fairly long. Yeah, it is a very long test. And actually, I didn't mention this before, one thing they do test um, not explicitly, but indirectly is uh, a student's focus, or excuse me, a student's focus, um, as well as how well they can concentrate for a long period of time. 